Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to spend a few moments together in God's Word. And even as we spend, spend a few moments together in God's Word and pray. We wrap up this week by talking about restored vision. Acts chapter 9, verse 17 through 18. And Ananias went his way and entered the house and laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales and he received his sight at once and he arose and was baptized. What a beautiful encounter, the great apostle Paul. The blind and deaf activist Helen Keller was once asked by a reporter if she thought that if, was there anything worse than being blind? To which she quickly replied, it's better to be blind than to be a person with no vision. She saw something that most people miss. Your physical eyes could work perfectly fine and yet be missing out on the fundamental dynam dynamics of the world. When Ananias brought the Lord's message and Saul received the Holy Spirit, Saul could see again. The blindness he had experienced three days ago was gone and so was his spiritual blindness. Before he met Jesus on the road to Damascus, Saul had been sure he had perfect vision and had all the answers about God. Saul had been a Pharisee from the tribe of Benjamin. He, he knew Jewish law. He believed that he had a special status with God. Sometimes we may go through life thinking that we have all the answers. Sometimes we are convinced that we know more than everybody else around us. And when it comes to God, sometimes we may think that we have the 2020 vision and all our questions can get answered. Of course, none of us are perfect and none of us have perfect vision and no one has all the answers. Even the Old Testament Job who was blameless and upright, according to the Bible, had to admit that there was much he did not understand. He confessed that he had a limited vision, saying to the Lord, My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Vision does not exist apart from God, and God doesn't grant vision without faith. Faith is how we fundamentally relate to God. So the first prerequisite to vision is faith. Faith then opens our eyes to see God and to see the work that God can do through us as His vessels. We must humble ourselves before the Lord and ask Him to remove the scales from our eyes so that we can see Him, catch His vision and serve Him faithfully. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this week where we've been studying about submission, O oh God. And Lord, even as we continue to ponder and meditate on what we have heard, O oh God, I pray that you will teach us to walk in submission. You will teach us, Lord, to catch this vision that you have for us, to walk in faith, fulfill the call of God upon our lives. We thank you, Lord, that your word says that it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your Holy Spirit alone. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.